Watch this, Jason. Find the slope. Just like the, the second method in finding the length of the line. Watch. Draw a line, horizontal part and sweep. Look up. Draw. Ah, uh, this way. This is called this is called uh, run. Think of somebody running across the flat there, and then hopping in a, in a lift, and they have to be risen, rise, risen up to this point. Right. So this is called the rise and the run. The slope equals the rise over the run. Look at the rise. How many squares high is the rise? Look at Right, what's the rise now? Uh, six. 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 Over the run. Six. What's six divided by six? One. That is a slope of, that's called a slope of six over six, or one. Six because I took six steps on the horizontal, and then six steps up. This slope is also 45 degrees is a slope of 1. Alright? Yeah. Or 6 over 6. Watch. This slope can also be, watch. Oh, I'll leave it at that. Right, so we'll take an example. 154. We'll get the slope of this line. <coughs> so you need squares to find out the slope, yeah? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give you another way of doing it. Right, watch this. You can write the two points like that. Now, what's the difference of the, the two x, uh, Jason? What's the difference between the x values, 5 and 2? Uh, three. Three. It's 3. 3. All right. 
This is the run. What's the difference in the y values? That's the rise. How does the formula work? Uh, run over. So the slope is the rise over the run. So the rise is 3 over 3, which is equal to 1. Okay? That's an easy way to do if you don't have any squares. Yeah, that is. We'll take another example. We'll go find the slope uh, between these two points. Four, three, uh, we'll take it. Yeah. three, five, and four, seven. What's the difference between the x values? One. Two. two. Difference is two. Mm. This is the run. That's the rise. Rise. Now write down your formula. Yep, slope is equal to the rise over the run. Oh, the rise was 2, wasn't it? Yeah. 2 over 1 is equal to, slope is 2. Okay?